some of you may know that the original uh, engine mounts are a very fragile design and they're the same on the Lotus LAN. The twin cam engine cars uh, have a lot more problems than uh, the Renault engine cars because uh, the engine is a quite bit heavier. This is one of the original engine mounts that came off of my car. Um, this is in reasonable condition. You can see a small crack here, um, but when they're gone, the entire rubber fails and just the engine mounts completely sag and you can get upgraded versions um, with the original rubber um, but they fail as well you can also buy some competition style of, or upgraded style um, engine mounts and I'm going to make my own so what you see here is everything that we'll need and this is one of the original ones this is the other original one where I got all the rubber off when I cleaned it up, um, there's a small hole that needs to be welded up, um, but all in all it's quite nice. This is this piece in the middle. And what you see here uh, are a selection of polyurethane bushes. These are uh, Shore A80, I think. Um, I bought these from Superflex and of course a weld-in housing. Bolts, some washers and also a stainless insert. So the plan is to drill a big hole in here, weld this up, put the bushing in and then insert it in here. Now that's the easy explanation. At first I was thinking of starting from scratch but I have these here so you might as well use it. And there's a small problem. Originally it's a little bit too small to get it in but I bent it out a little bit like this so we can still use the original lower mounting holes and I'm just going to enlarge the top ones a little bit as you can see now the bushing fits this is one of the bushings assembled into the housing it will fit like this but the first step that we're going to take is to drill a hole in this side measure it out completely Drill a hole on the other side to make sure that uh, everything's nice and perpendicular. Then we can put the hole in this, then make a big hole in here with a hole saw. Then weld the housing in place to make sure everything fits. So now I'm going to mark out where I want my hole for my bolt. Make sure that it's okay. Mark it out on the other side. Then drill both holes, make sure everything's straight. Then we're going to take this, put it in the right place, mark out the hole onto this piece so we can drill our large hole for our bushing. Okay, now I've set the camera up that you can see what I'm doing on this bracket. You can see this scribe line and um, where I want my. Uh, housing to be on the inside so I know where I need to drill my bolt hole. So now we need to find the center of this circle. There are a couple ways to do that uh, but the easiest way is just taking a housing, pushing, putting a bushing in and uh, the steel sleeve. Replace this on your scribe lines then take a drill just turn it around a little bit and there you have your center hole. So this is where we're going to uh, drill a small hole just uh, to see if it's okay and then we can drill a bigger hole for our bolt. The next thing to do is to transfer these holes to a position on this bracket. So do it like this. I've scribed the lines on here to show where this should come. Now I'm going to clamp this in this position. Like so. Now I can turn it over. Take your marker. I'm trying, trying to line up the hole. 
like this. But I'll take a center punch, a hammer. Et voila. So now we can drill a pilot hole for a hole saw. And then um, you can drill the big hole and we can test fit everything. I've made all of the components for both engine mounts and um, these are all the components uh, separately and this is one assembled. I've already tagged um, the housing to the center plate and I used some, um, some washers to space it out so that um, the plate was really in the center of the housing and um, it was 12 millimeters on each side. So this is complete now. This is what it should look like. So now I'll have to uh, weld up both of the housings and then we can assemble them both and we'll take a look at them when they're finished. I've painted the engine mounts in a semi-gloss black as you can see in one of my other videos. And now it's time to install this. So I've got the polyurethane bushes, the stainless sleeves, the bolts that need to go through it and uh, the special grease for the polyurethane. The first thing we need to do is to take these polyurethane bushes, smear them with grease and put them in the housing in the center of the engine mount. Now we're going to try to put the bush in partly by hand. It's quite easy. Try this side as well. Okay, so both sides of the bush are in. Now we need to uh, press in the stainless sleeve. So we're going to take a little bit more of the grease. We're going to push it inside of the bushes. There's a crosshatch pattern and that's there to retain the grease as well. Okay. So now we're going to so the sleeve is now in but we're not going to get it all the way so we're going to put it in the vise to press it in all the way Now we can install this center part into this U-shaped bracket for the engine mount. So the engine mount uh, is a U-shaped, so it should be like this. And then the flat part is on the top, so it will slide in this way. Line up the hole. Then we're going to take our bolts and our washers. That's the orientation for the engine mount, so there's a little bit of movement around the axis of the bolts, but um, this is about the way it should be. Okay, both engine mounts are completely finished, all the bushes have been installed, the bolts have been installed. So now uh, we just hope they fit once they're on the car. So um, now it's time to put them on the car and uh, see what they look like. I've installed both of the engine mounts into the chassis. As you can see, it locates quite well. Um, these are on both sides. Now, uh, if the engine shouldn't 
fit directly. We still have a little bit of movement in this, you just have to loosen the bolt. So um, you can also see that the chest is really dirty, but even if it's dirty, you can still see how rich this black is compared to the black of the epoxy mastic. This is also UV stable, this is not. So um, this is just a mock-up. I'm going to paint the entire chassis with the same black as I did the engine mounts. So um, don't mind the color difference, but you can see how nice they fit in. And uh, you can also see that they don't stand out as an obvious modification, but this is much stronger and uh, this will last quite a lot longer. So this is uh, the view from the rear. So we see two engine mounts, uh, both with the bolt heads sticking towards the rear. And of course, when the engine's here, you won't see much of them. But um, so these are both of them installed in the original uh, place of the chassis. So if I want, I can just uh, change these out to original ones, no problem at all. But uh, I'm quite hopeful that these will work quite well. So this is one more modification done. And one step closer to finishing the entire mechanical part of the car. So this is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. You've seen me make uh, new engine mounts completely from scratch and uh, hopefully they'll be better than the original ones. So uh, if you want to, you can read all about it on my blog with a lot of, uh, more written down information and some photographs. And uh, you can also subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. And I hope I'll see you next time. Goodbye.